Well, Steve, here we are, set up at Clockface, and uh, your thoughts ahead of this big game, Challenge Cup first round 2024. Well, it's, uh, it's getting uh, you know, that, the business now, as they say, isn't it? You know what I mean? I, all week I've been looking forward to this, but now that we're here and we've started setting up, we've had a couple of click ups, but we've uh, settled them, and uh, obviously the teams are here now. It's, uh, it's just starting to get a buzz about it, isn't it? It definitely is, yeah. I think we can expect a, a really good game. Two young sides, certainly Hewath on the crest of a wave. They're going to be playing Premier Division rugby for the first time since 1999. Clock face, well, they're at the highest point of their career so far in the National Conference League and they've got a lot of young players that they're going to be bloody. Yeah, the good thing about Clock Face as well, they haven't got lot, that young team below, which from all accounts have been uh, quite successful. So uh, the pathways we talk about it time and time again uh, and this, this is a correct, uh, the correct way to do it. First of all, what I wanted to do was show you our setup. So if we just step to the side here, so this, this is our, our lovely platform. <laughs> and maybe even better if I actually spin the, the uh, thing around. There we go. So this is our <laughs> this is our lovely platform, all set up. Yeah, we've still got a couple of bits to sort out, but we're getting there. We're in pre-season mode ourselves. Really looking forward to the game. Enjoy the rest of this video. Clockface have been amazing hosts. <laughs> Okay, I'm delighted to be joined by Ken Sykes. Ken, um, we're here at the start of another season. An exciting one in prospect for today. Yeah, certainly. Uh, back in the uh, Premier Division after uh, uh, 20, 23 years, 24 years. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be really interesting. I think we'll be all right, but uh, there's some good teams in there, aren't there? We've reached half time, 12 points to four. Um, I've been really, really impressed with what we've seen from Clock this week. We expected youthful enthusiasm, but we've seen a little bit better than that, haven't we? Yeah, that's not the game. Very well organised, actually. And listening to what Mark was saying before we started to show the interview, he was on a boat, he was being at like, a fast pace. He managed to stifle that. Every time he was managed to get something maybe out of to try and so they get, get some ball movement going, they've managed to, to lock it down. They've had one where they might obviously have got the ball out and had some success. But other than that, that's the only thing Oh, 
Uh, well, Scott, we're in the aftermath of what was a Titanic tra uh, Challenge Cup game in the end. Your Hewitt side just losing out. How did you see the game? I thought the first half cost us. Um, I thought there was far too um, far too many penalties and and uh, and we just weren't good enough for the ball. Far too many errors and uh, in the end, it, it, you know, it cost us. You ended up chasing the game a bit, didn't you? Yeah, we yeah, were chasing the game. We panicked after that. I thought second half we did a lot better. Um, I thought they were out on the feet in the second half. We just, but like you say, we ch were chasing the game. We're panicking with the ball and. Um, it, you know, just what meant to be today, and uh, well done to uh, Clock First. I know this this comes at a, a really early stage in your pre-season, really still, doesn't it? This competition. Yeah, um, pre-season has been a bit stop-started for us, really. So, but, but it, it was good to get out today. Um, you know, blow the cobwebs off, and you know, we, we as, a, as, a, as a group, as a team, we we've got to do a lot better than that. Uh, and going into Premier, we'll you know, uh, well come week in, week out, uh, we'll have to be much better. It's best that you get a wake-up call like that now than in season one. Yeah, it was about like today. It was about it's about getting out there, uh, but you know, players throwing the bodies about and trying to get that combinations. You know, with the ball. You know, you know. There's I think there's four or five missing today. One of one of one of our halves is well, two of our halves are missing. Um, you know, and, and some players in the pack. But no excuses. It's it's. You know, we, we, we came today confident and um, we just couldn't get over the line. Uh, got to say, you know, dis despite defeat, um, George Elliott came up with a couple of moments of magic. You know, his two tries were just out of this world. Yeah, George has got that locker on. He's, he's been doing it for he's been doing it for years as George. He's just, you know, it's very um, very athletic player. He's, he's big and strong, quick, knows game, you know, inside out. And uh, I, I thought he played really well today. Um, any other standouts for you? I thought Ben Barnard had a good second half. Um... I thought uh, the young kids. I thought George Tang on the wing, who's you know who's come for our come for our system. I thought he did pretty well on the wing today. Um, I've got Tom Clark who, who put in two good stints. Who, who again has come through come through the system here. Um, and um, and there was a few others out there, but um, I thought there was our standout today. Yeah. Um, also as well, I mean, it's your first chance to maybe have a look at how some of these new rulings well, might we'll affect things I know, I know there's a whole thing about tackle technique and stuff which is coming in but there was a couple of things around the play the ball, around play the ball. I, just, I, I didn't think it was consistent okay. I thought he started off very well um, I thought he started very well for both teams with the, with the play of the ball and I think second half kind of went, kind of went away from it I um, thought we should probably add a little bit more but again overall I thought the referee had a good game um, like I say uh, it was the first hit out for us Going forward, we need to do a lot better. Uh, first time I'm catching up with you since you got promoted at the end of last season. What a season that ended up being. Oh, it was brilliant, wasn't it? Um, it? You know, to win it home like we did against Dalton. Uh, I thought it was a great performance on the day. Uh, and we'll need to get back to them, them levels if, you know, we're going to do any good in, uh, in the Premier. I mean, there's no doubt that you will reach those levels again because I know you're a pretty hard taskmaster, aren't you? You want to get well, I hope so. into it. I hope so. Um, We'll, we'll be working hard uh, next week, that is for sure. Um, but no, we've got to get a few friendlies in now. Um, I think we've got Skirla coming to us in a, in a few weeks' time, but I'll need, I'll need another, you know, with a full squad, um, ready to go. We, we, we've got to come, we'll come firing, come start season. I think Kel's at home first game. I was going to ask, what does the rest of your pre-season look like? So a couple of friendlies, hopefully. How has it looked so Yeah, obviously far? I was expecting Skirl, uh, I think it was Siddle, Siddle at home in next round, but again, uh, we didn't manage to, to get over the line today. But So I'll have to pencil a, uh, a couple of friendlies in to make sure that we're, we're up to that level going into, into the season. 
Uh, Scott, thank you very much. Thank you very much. What a win that was. Tell me about it, Dave. Yeah, like uh, I, I spoke to you the other day, Dave, and I was confident going into this game, to be honest. Um, we've got a good youthful look about our side this year. Uh, the open age section is probably, like I said uh, the other day, was it's the strongest it's ever been for, for clock face miners. And um, I was expecting a big performance from our lads. They're a quality team you're with. And I knew that um, we'd have had to do a lot of things right to get any type of result today. And the enthusiasm in the D, uh, the will to win the game, and uh, the energy around the ball got us over the line today and I'm, I'm really happy with our performance. And also scored some real, real classy tries. I mean, there was a couple of classic wingers efforts and I'm, yeah. I'm sure on another day we could have been celebrating a uh, Jones hat trick, couldn't we? Yes, well that's it, yeah. We, 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 we scraped off two um, uh, disallowed tries in, in the first half, just going into touch. Um, the, the game was um, a good attacking game from us. We, we've got good strike players and if we use them in the correct areas, we're a match, in, uh, we're, we're a match for any team. Yeah, I asked our lads to, um, with it being a very tight game, expected by you, if they had to provide energy around the ball and the kicks. And we scored from two kicks, they competed in every kick, and I can't ask for any more than that. So I'm really made up of the, um, the energy levels with that. Was she a little bit worried at half time? Because you know, I was thinking you had an awful lot of attacking possession and only 12 points to come back out from it. Well, you, you've got to roll your sleeves up, you've got to take. Um, we had 40 minutes to go, I got the lads in the sheds. And I said, listen, this game's not over. We've got to go out there and, and do the basics like we've done in the first half. Let's try and complete. Let's keep our penalties to a minimum. Um, and let's um, go out there and put some more pressure on you, which we did in the second half. But I thought we got a little bit tired, let's be honest. Uh, this is our first setup for the season, like them. Uh, them coming into uh, a premier tip, Premiership uh, NCL top side. And um, they started to get a little bit on top of us with some silly penalties. Give any team penalties in this division, uh, at this level, should I say. And, and they will hurt you so they did hurt us a couple of times in the second half but the resilience again and the work ethic and, and, and the togetherness and brotherhood of the other players was outstanding and it was enough today to get the results it bodes well you know because the conversation we had you've got what six seven players that were in that team which have all come through the 18s or they've they've come into the club you're, you're building something here now that's it yeah there was um, four or five um, under 18s players that came through from last year uh, they've hit the ground running today, they've done themselves proud, the club proud and um, yeah, it was a privilege for a coach from last year in the under 18s and 16s and listen, I know what they're about and I know that I could use them and I know that they, um, they get stuck into the challenge today and they, they took it with both hands and it was great to see they've got bright futures at the club. Uh, and, and we spoke about it in midweek as well, you expected a lively touchline, you expected lots of people to come down. They didn't let you down, did the people no, they got didn't. first, did they? No, they didn't. We're a community family club. Uh, the community came towards, uh, came together today to, to support us. They turned out in the massive numbers, and I'm, I'm really, really proud and appreciative of the support. Uh, the tireless committee and the club has worked hard to make this uh, a great occasion and, um, and, and leading the youngsters out onto the pitch for our uh, second time in Challenge Cup history and getting our first win. Yeah, the, the club's on the up. Um, it's great to see the smiles on the faces. That's what it's about. It's about uh, the community and the kids coming through and keeping this open age and all the age, age groups at the clock ticking over. And I'm, I'm proud of everyone. And the key point there is it's that progression, isn't it? Well, that's it. Yeah, that, that's it. If you'd, We would absolutely love every kid to make professional there, but it's not going to happen. And we want to give them that outlet that you can come here and play rugby for life at this club. As long as you want to play rugby league, we'll look after you come through, play for our open age, play for all the junior setups and cracking coaches that we've got down here and we want you in that open age NCL and North West Counties teams. You mentioned there as well, See you later. Another, another good word, history. Yeah. You've made history, you've won the Challenge Cup game. That's it, second time in our history, we've won our first Challenge Cup and we've got a tasty fixture against Sid all coming up, no doubt they'll be coming down now and probably get the video footage and have a look at us, but yeah it's a bonus, we're, we're, we're dreaming. And uh, we're going to get stuck into Sid all. It's going to be a fantastic game. And uh, again, we're the best team when we're looking forward to it. Matt, thank you so much. And thanks for all your hospitality over the week and for letting us come down and, uh, you know, do what we do here. Uh, yeah, no problems, Dave. You're welcome any time. Yeah, thank you. Well, Steve, what a cracking game that turned into. Well, they said the Challenge Cup starts here and it certainly did start today. Great opening with the, the kids coming out with the, the teams at the beginning. And absolutely shedfuls of them, as, as we were saying right at the very beginning. Uh, first half, really close. Uh, 
not taking the chances some, some teams and then other teams making little you know mistakes which, which you know sort of were telly mistakes in the end but what a finish I mean it got that way where hang on it, uh, you was going to come on with a wet sail and uh, uh, and steal it at the end because to, to be fair they, they would have stole it but they were capable of it as they well, did they? in that last that that second 20 uh, of, of the uh, the second half uh, which we'd said in commentary you know that when they get it together and they start moving the ball about and Mark had alluded to midweek speaking to you uh, that you know if this team get to you know quick play of the ball they, they can be dangerous and they were but clock first giving them the due I'd, I'd already got the points on the board and that's the important bit isn't it making sure you got the points on the board first and, and to be fair as well, I mean, they scored some cracking tries, didn't they, Clock? Um, uh, there, there was uh, the two in the second half particularly because both times playing out to the wingers. Yeah, we'd seen that in the first half where they, they'd been unsuccessful with, with the ground, you know, just going in touch, but we knew they were having success there and they continued with that early doors in the second half and it paid dividends and, and good on them. They, they spotted the weakness there and exploited it. Uh, hopefully as well you was able to capture... Um, our coverage that was on mm. Mixler. Um, your thoughts on how that went? It was a, a little bit unusual having to set up like a, a little gantry for us and everything that was attached to that, wasn't it? Well, to be fair, obviously that was something that we were looking at doing in the future. We, we, we got everything in place ready to do that. We just didn't think we were going to have to do it so early. But, you know, getting here and, and, and getting things set up um, gives us an idea of things moving forward as well, what we can change or what we can adapt. But it was, it was an ideal situation. We, we saw all the game really clearly. And what a crowd. What a crowd, Parker. It, it was very vociferous, that's yeah, for sure. You yeah. know, I mean, there might have, uh, there might have been... I, I mean, I, I guess there was about six or 700 people around Easy. the touchline here. You know, like, um, but, you know, it felt like there was about 6,000 at one point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're always very focal down here at Clockface. Uh, from, uh, even when I've been down, as, you know, there's not been many as such. They're still very vocal. Uh, and to, with the added crowd today, uh, th that just made it you know, even better. Hopefully, hopefully they get an even bigger crowd when they play Siddle in the next round. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's going to be a corker, mm. isn't it? Um, now, what have we got coming up? So on, on Wednesday, it's the return of our usual show on a Wednesday on Spreaker, isn't it? It is on Spreaker. Uh, obviously, we will have our roundup of all the uh, results and, and games that have been played today and tomorrow, of course. Uh, from the Challenge Cup um, and give you a preview of, uh, of things moving forward. Yeah, uh, we're also looking for round two to be taking in the action that's going to be taking place over at Lee Miners Rangers. Yeah, looking forward to that. It's a place I've, I think I've only been to once before. Really? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, See, I've been just a, long, just a few more times than that, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So looking forward to that and obviously uh, uh, a, a good team they're up against in, uh, in Stanningley. So uh, that, that should be really, really good.